Number 10. Under lock and key. Exploring haunted buildings at Schubert o'clock can be an exciting idea for Halloween. That is, until the paranormal come out to play, as these guys would soon experience first hand. Built in 1870, with prisoners violently forced to mine the rocks for the walls, the old Idaho penitentiary soon became overcrowded, with extreme temperatures and a lack of proper plumbing or ventilation. Hundreds of souls perished behind the very walls they built, succumbing to a gruesome combination of old age, illness and murder. With all the inhuman conditions over 30,000 inmates had to endure throughout the decades, it comes as no surprise that the prison has been known for paranormal activity and accounts of strange sounds, voices and dark entities. Of course, Josh Fletch and a group of friends discarded all the warning signs and had to sneak inside in the dead of night, but their spooky outing soon turned into a high-speed chase when Josh decided to be a rebel and climb to a forbidden area. And according to his own words, he got just what he deserved. Take a look. I uh, may or may not have climbed up because there's no stairs. Bet you missed it, didn't you? In the last cell, before Josh screams bloody murder, there's the shadow of a muscular build lurking behind bars. Could it be the spirit of Raymond Allen Snowden, a notorious inmate known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper? He was convicted of cold-blooded murder in 1956 and sentenced to death by hanging at the notorious penitentiary. The terror lingered until the very end as the trap door snapped open, but the noose only choked him, not ending his life quickly, as you can imagine. He hung there, gasping for breath for a full 15 minutes, before finally succumbing to suffocation in a slow, torturous death. Whether it was the spirit of this notorious inmate or not, these guys were not sticking around to find out. Number 9 the Holy Spirit. Alex is something of a master at expiration, and how could he ignore the opportunity to take a tour of an abandoned nun's convent? After walking and hearing strange, echoing laughter through the long hallways, Alex realizes his camera is nearly out of juice, so he heads back home. But when he watched the footage back, he spotted something that sent a deep sense of dread scuttling up his throat. Watch. Take a good, long look at the open doorway in this replay. Someone is standing there. The silhouette also looks suspiciously veiled, which is incredibly spooky when you remember the video was captured in a convent. Perhaps someone wasn't quite ready to pass on just yet. Let's hope she didn't latch onto Alex as he left. Number 8. We have company. No manner of years watching those spooky backroom videos could have prepared you for this next clip. This guy had a job searching for a leak around an urgent care centre that had been abandoned a few months prior. He had no idea why everyone left so suddenly. That is, until he delved further into the building and heard some things that made him feel as though he wasn't the only one tiptoeing around. Let's watch. Another bathroom. Uh, this is a second uh, two-story building. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. I guess we're taking the stairs. I guess meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby.
the footage cut abruptly as he tried to compose himself after hearing someone, or something, bolting down the stairs right in front of his eyes, when clearly, there was no one to be seen. He grew some balls and went upstairs to film the meditation room, but it didn't look like he no-clipped into level one. After some further investigation, uh, there's no one else in this building. I've heard someone go down those stairs though. So, I guess this was the meditation room. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I, don't, I probably don't need the flashlight right now. Here's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't see anything down there. So here's the meditation room. Kind of looks like the back rooms. It looks very culty. The stage up here looks like a couple of altars next to them. Creepy. Okay, now I'm getting the fuck out of here. That was it. Was it a bit of fancy footwork? Or a real living nightmare? Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Let us know what you think in the comments section. I promise. This will be my last trip, okay? Yes, Aiden. I promise. Is that... Number seven, here in my car. When you're driving late at night for long periods, your vision can end up a little bit distorted. At least that's what this guy thought while he was cruising down a highway in Mexico. While thinking he should have taken the advice from the don't drive when you're tired sign a couple of miles back, he saw something on the side of the road that made him do a double take. someone's in a rush. It took some time to properly figure out what the hell that thing could be. But if you look closely, a dress billowing around her and it's legging it. He couldn't figure out if he had actually seen that or if his eyes were deluding him. Could this be somebody taking a shortcut on their walk back from a night out or something a little more sinister? Number six, run for the hills. These girls found out the hard way that those old urban legends are more terrifying than you could ever imagine. They decided to pay a nightly visit to their old, abandoned and supposedly haunted school to see if the legend was true. Apparently, if you knock on the nurse's door, something will knock back. But they didn't get a knock back. They got something much worse. Knock on it, knock. No, go. Knock harder. Let them know. Let them. A woman can be heard screaming the words, get out, from the other side of the door. Whether paranormal or not, one thing's for sure. We'll never see any of these girls outside after bedtime again. Number five, one of us is lying. The dark can lead your mind to some truly spooky places, especially when you're traipsing around a pitch black, barren corridor in search of poltergeist activity. These guys were just trying to explore an urban area for a video, but among the cool graffiti and crumbling walls, Something else seemed to make itself at home there. Something nobody can explain. Take a look. Okay. 
there is some kind of transparent figure rising from the floor. The group decided not to try their luck by sticking around and go bolting out of there. But, as their feet slammed against concrete, there was something else lurking within their group. Bet you missed it at first, but let's slow it down. That's one creepy face. If you're thinking rationally, you could say it's just a blurry shot of one of the women in the group. But there were no women in the group. So who the hell was that? Number 4. Portals There are so many stories about bad experiences with Ouija boards out there, yet somehow people keep playing with them. Catalin got one from Amazon out of sheer curiosity. She already knew the board was bad news, but she never expected the terrifying experiences she was about to go through at night when she was the only one home. Watch. What the hell were those sounds at the bottom of the stairs? And how did the knocking change from one door to another so fast? Unless she had about five friends hiding off camera, there's something seriously spooky living in that flat. She also explained that her friends wanted to take the board to an abandoned building, but when she went to grab it, it had vanished out the back of her wardrobe putting it out of sight and mind for a year and a half and not connecting the scary experiences with the board, she kind of forgot it existed. But while she was moving out of her old apartment, she found it again, completely spotless, while everything surrounding it was covered in dust. Spooky, isn't it? Number 3. Bat Cave if you've been watching us for a while, you'll be well versed into the terrifying reality of caving. We have featured a few videos of claustrophobic cave expeditions that would strike fear into the heart of even the bravest person. But sometimes, the scariest thing isn't the impossibly narrow passageways, it's the fact that somebody might have found that part of the dark cave before you. 
While on a hike with his dog, this guy decided to investigate the seemingly isolated stone walls. After spotting some bugs and some bats flying around, he stepped further into the cave until he spotted something that sent a chill down his spine. It's blurry, but if you look closely and turn the brightness up, you can see what looks like a person draped in a black cloak. Luckily, the guy and his dog managed to get themselves out of there. Apparently, the police were called and shown that video, but nothing has come from it just yet. What do you think this was? A paranormal entity? A cult? Or something else? Let us know in the comment section. Number 2. Break-In Which is scarier? A poltergeist roaming free in your house or a possible break-in? Probably the latter, which is why the lady in this next clip called the police to her property after she went shopping and returned to an open door. The police went in to investigate, expecting someone trying their luck at a burglary, but what they actually found left them trembling. Take a look. Does anyone live in the house? Yes, um, my husband, myself and our two kids, but they're out of town right now, they're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or dogs or anything? No, no. All right. Just stay here, man. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Anyone inside? Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. This footage was released after the officers claimed the house was haunted, and boy, can we see why. Some commenters seem a bit skeptical of this video, asking why the lights weren't turned on and why there were no clothes in the closets. But there are explanations for this. The home is used as an Airbnb quite a lot and the children, father and pets were out of town that day, so most of the stuff wasn't there at the time of filming. Downstairs, clear.
clear? Yeah. We're, yeah, we're good. And the officers left the lights off because the change in lighting would leave their eyes to adjust for a few seconds, which would make them more susceptible to an attack. But no one seemed to be talking about the fact that so many doors seemed to open on their own, with nothing behind them. And nobody has really mentioned the figure you can barely make out standing in the doorway to the bedroom when the officer is backing off down the stairs. What do you think this is? A break-in that ended with a quick getaway or something a little more paranormal? Let us know your thoughts. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. Number 1. Tunnel Vision Tunnels tend to trigger claustrophobia and paranoia in quite a few people. You can blame horror movies for that. But for some reason, this guy didn't get the memo and thought it would be a great idea to investigate a strange noise emanating out of the cylinder. He didn't spend too long in there though, because something was waiting for him. If you don't believe in skinwalkers, maybe you will after this. Take a look. What the hell? Hello? <laughs> what kind of creature was that? It definitely wasn't an animal, but it also doesn't look human. Whatever it is, it's definitely not as terrifying as this compilation full of creepy stuff caught on camera. Perfect for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spookfest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.